Hello and welcome to Small Gold's Perth Mint Silver Sales update for the month of August 2017. Perth Mint Silver Sales fall in August. That doesn't tell the whole story. Let's take a look. Silver sales at the U at the Perth Mint in August were 392,000. That was down 66% from last month uh, when they sold 1.167 million ounces. However, year over year, August 2017 Perth Mint sales were up 0.4% from August 2016 sales of 376,000 ounces. Now, the August Perth Mint sales of 392,000 ounces, pretty low. But remember, Perth Mint does have lower sales than the U.S. Mint, and we'll see in a minute a comparison of the U.S. Mint versus the Perth Mint, but they did sell less silver in August than the U.S. Mint sold, and the U.S. Mint sold 1,025,000 ounces in August, and that was very low. That was the lowest August sales at the U.S. Mint in over 10 years. So Perth Mint sales of 392,000, while they look low, that's not that bad for August. In fact, it's better than last August. And we're going to look at some charts and see the Perth Mint. Now remember, as we saw the other day, the Perth Mint gold sales have now surpassed the uh, U.S. Mint gold sales. And that is quite an achievement because, as we've mentioned, the Perth Mint is a much smaller mint, so you expect them to sell less silver and less gold. But for the past six months, the Perth Mint has sold more gold than the U.S. Mint. And that's really not so much that the Perth Mint gold sales are surging. It's really because they're selling the normal amount that they would sell in the last six months, but that the U.S. Mint is basically selling next to nothing. So let's take a look at the charts here. So here's what I was talking about. August versus August. It's traditionally a slow month in the Perth Mint. So nothing to get excited about because the sales are down. They're down, but they're always down in August. And you can see sales in June and July for Perth Mint. That's pretty good. Over a million ounces. Compare that to the U.S. Mint. In fact, we're going to take a look at a chart. We're going to see that the U.S. Mint was actually outsold in June by the Perth Mint. The only month ever uh, that they outsold them in silver, but still quite an achievement and also highlighting that there is something, there is somewhat of an anomaly in U.S. Mint sales because if the U.S. Mint is the largest mint and sales are way down at the U.S. Mint, you'd expect them to be way down at the Perth Mint, the Canadian Mint, Chinese um, uh, imports, Indian imports. We're not seeing that. We're seeing decent demand across the board and the retail level at the other sovereign mints. We're also seeing decent retail demand at the ETFs. So gold, and we're seeing the price rise, but we are not seeing US mint gold sales or silver sales going anywhere. But these are decent Perth mint silver sales. Let's take a look at a few more charts. And if you wanna buy silver, especially the Perth mint silver, you get a SD billion, BGSC, Gold Eagle Coins, Money Mills Exchange, you compare pricing and shipping. If you do buy, small gold gets a small commission. So consider that and not investment advice, but if you've done your research, you like silver, you want to buy it, please check out the offers, compare pricing and shipping, and make your purchase. Now, as I mentioned, silver sales at the Perth Mint, these are two good months here, and you compare them to the U.S. Mint where they went down. This is June and July when the U.S. Mint had a horrific month, and this is August, but those are pretty good and if you go down here you can see the u.s mint closed last year strongly and the perth mint did pretty well too they had some months you know pretty decent months here that's the gold sales chart i'm gonna have to bring you back i'm gonna have to bring you back to the silver sales there it is so there is the u.s mint versus the Perth Mint silver sales before I had the gold sales chart from the other day. Let's take a look. You can see silver sales rebounded nicely at the end of last year at the um, U.S. Mint. In January, they were very strong. Then you see they barely topped, they only topped 2 million twice. That was May and June. The red line is Perth Mint. And you can see the Perth Mint generally is done about, you get it's about a million there, that line. That's half of the 2 million there. But, um, here in June, that red line reflects that they actually sold more than the U.S. Mint. And that's not because it was a great month for the Perth Mint. It was a decent month. Over a million is a very good month for the Perth Mint. They generally, 
I've only done one month over 3 million. They did 3.5 million in September 2015, and generally they haven't done over 2 million. So a 1 million month is good, but it's not spectacular. But you can see how these blue lines that were way up last year have come down a bit. And let's take a look at more historic <clears throat> uh, Perthman silver sales. So ever since they introduced that silver kangaroo, in September 2015, they've done decent sales. And this year is really no exception. Look, you've got some very strong months here in 2017, unlike the U.S. Mint. So this does show they're, they're lower than last year at the Perth Mint. Make no mistake about it. But they're not down 60, 70, 80 percent the way the U.S. Mint is in silver and even more in gold. And here's the kangaroo for those of you who are interested that's another coin you can purchase um, this is a bulk sold coin there's no numismatic value attached because they sell as many as they need to sell they don't limit them like they do the kookaburas or the um, any of the lunar series or the ones with the privy marks or the koala but <coughs> excuse me it does trade for a lower value than the American Silver Eagle, which has like a $2 plus premium on it all the time. The Kangaroo is under $2 premium, so you can get more silver for your dollars, or your Bitcoin, whatever you're buying your silver with, than you can when you buy these uh, Kangaroos, and you can when you buy other Perth Mint coins, or even Canadian Maple Leafs, or U.S. Silver Eagles, American Silver Eagles. So they are good value, and they're decent looking coin there. You still have to have the queen on the front, but that's a very nice kangaroo design, and some people like the queen, so there she is. Now, this is, we we're talking about lower silver sales of the Perth Mint year over year from last summer to the early part of this year, uh, and then you had surging gold sales. That reflected a trend away from silver towards gold. Now we have this trend away towards physical metals in general, but that trend is even more pronounced in gold than it is in silver. And like I said, the silver sales at the Perth Mint, they're pretty good. So it's not like they're going down. And the gold sales are okay too. So it's really that U.S. Mint anomaly. Odd to see that in the world's biggest mint. Now, before we close out, what's your preferred silver coin? Silver Eagle, Maple Leaf, Perth Mint, Kangaroo, Perth Mint Koala, Perth Mint Kookaburra, Chinese Silver Panda. Austrian Silver Philharmonic, Mexican Libertad, and British Silver Britannia. These are the coins. Remember, they're not rounds. They're the sovereign-issued coins. Um, let's see the results. What small gold subscribers look at. So it looks like the Canadian Silver Maple Leaf is the top coin choice. Then the Silver Eagle. Then the Perth Mint Kangaroo. And then the Silver Libertad and the Panda. Then the Kookaburra. And one vote each for the Philharmonic, the Britannia, and no votes for that koala. Very surprising. Well, we only have 64 votes. If you want to vote, put a link below. It's on the website. And if you want more information on those coins, there's a page each I've created for each of the coins and their mintages. So if you go there, you'll see the... Well, let's take a look at one of them. Here's your Austrian Silver Philharmonic. And there's your Panda. And you can also buy the coins on those pages too, but they give you more information about the coins themselves. Some more pictures and some of the details around the coins. So you can tell I don't have the best internet. It doesn't load that quickly. But thank you very much for uh, listening and please consider making a small or large donation to Small Gold via PayPal, via Bitcoin, Litecoin, or even becoming a patron. I think I have almost 10 now where you can donate a small amount or a large amount each and every month to keep the channel going. Also, thank you for those of you who have signed up for um, VidMe. They somehow um, verified me without getting the 50. Still try to follow us over at uh, VidMe, but I do have 20 followers. And they have um, approved the account is verified. So I can now put up longer than 30 minute videos. I could put up unlimited videos. And I managed to put up, I think all of the people who have been on the Small Gold, I think I have a few more to put up, who have been on the Small Gold Subscribers Sound Off series. I managed to get your interviews up. Most of them, I think all of them are over 30 minutes. So I'm putting those up. And also if you 
want to come back on the show. I'm not now taking people on second. I wanted to give everyone a chance to be on first before I did uh, return interviews, but I've got some interest in others who want to come back. So anyone who's been on the show is welcome to come back. Just let me know. Send me an email. If you haven't been on the show and you want to be on the show, send me an email. Tell me how long you've been a Small Girl subscriber and what you want to talk about, and we'll try to get you on the show as well. Let's see if that Austrian Philharmonic page has loaded. You might have to do this on your own. You might have to try this at home because it's not working here. Anyway, you want to check out all the different coin pages on Small Gold. There's a link. There's links at the bottom of the link I'm going to put below, and you can learn more about each of the coins and their mintages. Doesn't look like we're going to get to see those today. One final chance. There we go. Also, you could subscribe to Small Gold there. Let's see if this page loads for us and we can take a look at the type of... You know what? You're going to have to do that on your own because this page is, looks like it's going to take forever. Thanks very much for listening. Now, what's coming up? We have Shanghai Gold Exchange, uh, August numbers, People's Bank of China Gold Reserves, month of August. We've got something on the Bitcoin bubble. We have the Gold Buffalo sales coming up uh, for August. We'll put that up on the website and do a YouTube. We have the 13 states that have legalized or made gold and silver tax-free. We've got some nice information there. And we also finally will be getting around to the Canadian Mint gold and silver sales that they just released just for the first half of 2017. And then we'll have Indian gold imports, Indian silver imports for the month of July. So please subscribe to this channel or and subscribe to this channel on YouTube, VidMe, and even BitChute. And subscribe to smallgold.com because there's at least another dozen reports coming up that you don't want to miss. Thanks very much.